hey guys welcome back to my channel I know this is a little bit different than what I normally do I normally don't do like a vlog style video but I'm just gonna do like a little vlog style intro um, so in today's video I'm going to be I got some coffee and I got some breakfast and I'm at Target so I'm actually in the parking lot I'm gonna eat really quick and then I'm gonna run in there's a few things that I need I also wanted to look at the Halloween stuff um, I already have so much decor but uh, I'll also be doing a Halloween decor haul in this video Video and maybe put out some cute little Halloween treats I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do I have a few plans but I don't know what I'm gonna do yet um, I may go to TJ Maxx I may do all of the things but we'll see so I'm just going to show you guys what I got at Red Owl it is this little coffee place we have here where I live and um, so really quick I'm gonna show you guys that I also forgot to mention I am gonna be doing some cleaning in today's video so this is gonna kind of be like a get it all done style video with me I'm gonna be doing some cleaning and shopping and uh, a decor haul and I also have on my cute little fall earrings since it is officially fall, even though it's been fall on my channel for a little while now, it is officially fall and I can wear these out and about. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please like and subscribe and comment and these things really help up my channel and I appreciate it so much. So I'm gonna try this coffee really quick and let you guys know what I think, but it's a brown sugar cold brew and then it's got the pumpkin cream cold foam and some pumpkin pie drizzle. It was called the Ghost Rider. So I'm gonna try it really quick. Mm, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is, this is what fall tastes like. Like this is so, so good. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh my God, that's so good.
I'm so excited to introduce you guys to one of my best friends. Her name is Ashley Marie. She is also here on YouTube and she also does cleaning and decorating videos. And she is a first time mama to a sweet baby girl and she also has a sweet little puppy. And I know you guys are gonna love her as much as I do. We have become best of friends over these past couple of weeks texting and messaging back and forth and seriously she is just the sweetest person so whenever you guys are done here i'll have all of her links in my description and you guys should definitely go check her out and let her know that i sent you and if you're here from ashley's channel then hello my name is tori i'm a mama to two little girls and on my channel you're gonna find cleaning motivation and decor inspiration and i hope you guys will subscribe and stick around and i also hope you enjoy today's video in the night I'll make it worth your while We won't hide In the crowd Just stay with me I'll make it worth your while 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 Make it worth your while While Trying to get away from this life I'm living Same old things every day Wanna change this feeling Wasting no more time Don't care about what you're saying Try to keep me down No time for all your playing Yeah, even if you doubt me now You should know I don't care about I found these pink garbage bags at Target and I literally couldn't help myself because I just thought they were the cutest thing and they smell so good and I just am obsessed with them. So I definitely had to get them because they were actually like the same price as the ones I normally get. So I was like, why haven't I been getting these? Like this was the first time that I've ever seen them at my Target, but I was just like so excited about those. I don't wanna try again, try again, try again, try again. Those memories, time to make some new ones Sun is up, I'm wide awake We're not getting younger If you still love me, then please just let me go I won't stay with you, I need to live my own life Yeah, even if you doubt me now You should know I don't care about the things you say
must have felt this coming Can't we just leave it right here Never to touch it again Yeah, even if you doubt me now You should know I don't care about The things you say a really rough morning so I told them I would pick them up a surprise so that they would have something whenever they got home to look forward to. Does anybody else's kids obsess over these Kinder Joy eggs because my girls ever since like we first discovered them they're just obsessed with them and also just a funny side note um I was picking up the living room so I had this pink garbage bag and like they got off the bus and I had set that garbage bag just on the edge of the couch because I wasn't done picking up yet. And I was like, hey, you want your surprise? And they're both like, yes, of course, you know. And um, I pointed towards the hutch and they thought I was pointing, I guess, at that pink garbage bag. So they both went for the garbage bag. And I was like, um, that's trash. <laughs> But I just thought that was so funny, but they thought that, I guess they thought it was a package or something, but no, I was pointing at the hutch and they thought I was pointing to that pink garbage bag. And I thought that was hilarious. But this I know I won't leave Waking up in a bed With my head on the chest That I don't even know But I guess it makes sense Cause I know we both learned Everything that happened last night So just come back to bed I wanna hold you
Okay, so this is the current situation in my kitchen and there's a lot, but just keep in mind that this is a mix of last year and this year and then this is to decorate the entire house. I actually am missing a few things, like there's some Ray Dunn missing that I believe is packed away in the garage. And cause I think when we moved it was like, in the kitchen, um, like in a cabinet, and it got packed away with that stuff um, that we haven't unpacked yet just because like it was seasonal um, stuff that I had put in a cabinet. Um, so I'm gonna start, I did this for fall and it seemed to work pretty well. So this whole table is TJ Maxx. That is Ray Dunn. Um, I'll get to that in a second, but like I think everything up there is from TJ Maxx as well. But like I put it up there cause there's a lot of it and I'm actually missing some, like I'm missing all my black mugs except for those two. Um, and I'm missing some of my orange mugs. Um, I think that's it. But yeah, I'm missing a few things. Um, but anyways, so I'm just gonna do a brief overview and then I'll go like up close. And then this is Belle's outlet, like this little section here. All this is Target. These are from Belle's, Belle's outlet. Uh, half of this table is Kirkland's and the other half is Michael's. And then these are from Hobby Lobby. And then the spider is just a random Dollar Tree spider. I do have more of these, but like I said, they're like packed away with other stuff. And then all this is from Ross, so I'm gonna just, real quick, um, so I don't know if I'll do prices on everything because that will take forever, but I'm just gonna do like a brief overview. Um, so my Halloween decorating video will go live on Thursday, uh, the 29th I believe, and I'm doing a collaboration with another YouTuber and I'm so excited because I love her channel and I've been following her for a long time and I'm like kind of fangirling here, but <laughs> anyways, um, I found these today actually and then I got one that has bats on it and one that has spiders and they're like long garland they go over I think they're like six foot but they also light up one of them is I don't know if you can see it but it's like white lights and then one of them is purple I didn't even know that they had different color lights the purple ones are really bright but um I got one with spiders and one with bats because I just thought they were really cute and that I don't know if you can see how sparkly they are. I'm not typically like a sparkly decorator, but I'd make an exception for Halloween and Christmas because to me the sparkles, especially because I have kids, the sparkles just make it more fun. But so this wreath is from last year and these little bats on it are actually from the Dollar Tree. The wreath itself is from TJ Maxx from last year. I think I said that. I bought the little bats a couple years ago at the Dollar Tree and they just clip right on. This pompous is from TJ Maxx this year. I think it was like $15 for the bundle. I got this sign. It says Halloween and beware. Some hand soap, a candle. See if it'll focus it says jack-o-lantern it smells so good like i don't know how to explain the scent let me see if i oh, it smells so good it smells like if this makes any sense it smells like the halloween aisle like the costume aisle but like that mixed with pumpkin spice and then like you get like a hint of candy corn <laughs> I don't know that's weird but that's just what it smells like to me and um, I've had these for a few years I have two ghosts and two pumpkins the other ones are over here and then these books they're just like some little fake books and I love this I've got a small one and a big one and then under that I've got like this skeleton like wood wood shape thing I don't know what I'm gonna do with him yet but super cute and then I've got this little guy. I've had that for a few years. I bought this today because if you watch my fall decorating, I put my, um, I can show it to you guys in a minute, but I put my coffee pods in a pumpkin. So I think I'm gonna put the coffee pods in this. And the reason I got it is because it was so cheap. Cause I would've just, it was $4.99. I would've just kept them in the pumpkin for Halloween, but I just like, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. And let's see, where was I? Those two are from last year. I don't remember how much they are. I think like 12 or $14. And this tree, sorry, that's like poking me from this year. And they light up. I have two of these. I'm just trying to light it. Love that. I like don't really know where I'm going to put things yet. And I know it looks like a lot, but this is, you just keep in mind, this is for like the whole house. Like I'm going to decorate the whole house with this stuff. So I got this little crow and I got this like books with the skeleton. That's last year with the crow on it. That jack-o-lantern, you might recognize it because I've had my oil diffuser in it. I've got another little jack-o-lantern and then the bigger one. And then I've got these. I love the copper. Oh, I also, I didn't put these over here, but I also have a couple of these that have jack-o-lanterns on the other side. They're used for fall. 
but we'll get to that and then i do have more of these pillows i found these this year but i have two more from last year um they're in the garage packed away with some other seasonal pillows um i do have the pumpkin version of that on the ladder and you can see where my cats have snagged it but i'm just gonna swap those out i think and i also like i don't know if this is gonna go in the master bedroom this matches the pillows and then i've also got these are like reversible and then a bat one it's like the it's like black with white bats on the other side so i might do those on the couch and then i don't know because i have four of these so i want these to go in the living room and of course i want the blanket to match in the living room too i don't know yet so we'll see if you have any ideas just let me know like because i'm gonna be decorating on thursday i found this at tj maxx um i just thought it was cute for the coffee bar like add the syrups on it um I got that black cat with the wood pumpkin. It reminded me of my ginger. If you follow me on Instagram, you know about ginger. She's my baby. Um, here's a little sign for the tiered tray. I was thinking that would be cute. Another one of those trees. Did I get everything over here? I think I did. Oh wait, there's that sign. I found that today. I found this today. I think I have an idea for this. It's so cute. It's like really dusty looking, but very cute I love it and I think for this I'm gonna put it on the tray like if you seen what I did for fall I put like a tray with a little fall sign on our bed so I think I'm gonna do that with that sign but here is just a brief overview of the Ray Dunn and then I've got some Disney I love this so cute I saw some mugs this year too and I should have picked them up but I regret not I wasn't gonna do like I actually still don't know like if I'm gonna use the Ray Dunn. I have a lot of people telling me yes I should. So let me know in the comments if you want me to use the Ray Dunn. I do still like it. Like I've kind of outgrown Ray Dunn a little bit, but like the Halloween and Christmas stuff makes me super happy. So I might just use it. Like I know that a lot of a lot of people have like outgrown it and it's kind of like um whatever, not a thing anymore. But I also have this. I've had this for a while. But I just love the little Disney. I wish I would have bought those. I like saw a bunch of like Mickey Mouse Halloween mugs at the beginning of the season. I'm like really sad I didn't get them, but I was planning on getting away from like this more whimsical style, if that makes sense. I was trying to go for more of like a spooky style, um, but I guess I'm just so drawn to like the whimsical stuff because I did still buy some of that stuff. But okay, so all that, I'll just kind of show. I'm missing my Lazy Bones mug and that's my favorite mug. It must, cause I didn't pack that one away cause I used that one. Like even when it's not Halloween, it's just, it's orange and it says Lazy Bones and I paid way too much for it, but candy corn, trick or treat, spooky. I got a candle that melted. Um, if you don't know, we like moved and then we moved back and we had to put all of our stuff in storage for a little while. So like my candles are probably all messed up. But I got boo, trick or treat. I don't know if I'm gonna use this. I kind of don't like it. It's kind of ugly. <laughs> but anyways. And this haunted birdhouse that I paid way too much for and pitched a fit for. <laughs> um, yeah, I was one of those people. I mean, I wouldn't go crazy. I wouldn't spend like $200 on a mug or nothing like that. But I did, um, I think, like all the orange mugs I bought either on Mercari or like a couple of them I found on Facebook Marketplace. And my most expensive mug was my Lazy Bones mug. And I'm not even going to say how much I paid. But it's not, it's probably not as much as you think. Like I found a good deal on it for what it was worth at the time. Um, and then, yeah, so let me know in the comments if you want me to use the Ray Dunn because I, like, it's so funny because I've wanted this hutch for so long and, like, I just had visions of it, like, with the Ray Dunn on it and then, of course, whenever I finally get the hutch, I've, like, outgrown Ray Dunn. Um, so I think I said that this half is from Michael's. So the skeleton is from Michael's. These, I, I just bought a bunch of these because they were on sale. I think they were 40% off. So I think each bag came down to like $3. So I just grabbed a bunch because I was thinking I couldn't go wrong with the little skeletons. Um, Cause you know, like I can just add them in with the pumpkins and the existing, like for example, like this dough bowl, I could just take these leaves and these orange pumpkins out and just add like skeleton heads in it, just transition. Um, this wreath is from Michael's, I believe it was 40% off. It was, um, I think you're supposed to like DIY something, but I actually like it with nothing on it. And then I've got a bunch of garland here and I bought this garland before I found those garlands today from TJ Maxx, but I think I'm going to use these on the hutch because they're kind of thin and small, but they'll add like some spooky touch to it. And this is Kirkland's. That sign is from Kirkland's. The wreath, I love this pompous wreath and it's like super sparkly. I don't know if you can tell. And then again, reminds me of my ginger. 
she's like a tortoise shell cat so she's not all black but she's got like mostly black and then she's got like a little bit of white on her uh, her stomach is white and her paws are white and then her face has got lots of orange on it she's the cutest like I'll insert a picture here if I remember um, I love this little sign I was thinking for the hutch like I don't know if I have enough stuff but I was thinking of going for kind of like a witchy like hocus pocus and then the apothecary and I don't know just maybe like some witchy stuff and then like on my little shelves over there I wanted to add like the little black cats I don't know how much cat stuff I have either but I, I kind of like to do uh, like little themes if that makes sense this is not really my style but I saw it and it was on sale and I was like oh the girls will love this so I'm gonna use this and incorporate it and it matches that sign pretty good so I don't know where I'm gonna use it yet but I just thought the girls would think that's fun I try to mix in some fun like whimsical things for them of course <laughs> Um, this little bit of stuff is from Bells. The pillows are Bells. I actually really love these. I feel like they're like just farmhousey enough, but not too farmhousey. Um, and then I got this big haunted sign. I love this. I've seen like some similar mugs from like Pottery Barn, and that's what that reminded me of. So I thought that was so cute. I got this a couple years ago, and I love it so much. I'm probably gonna use it to put like my Mrs. Myers soaps on. I think that's what I did last year, but it was super cute. And then this reminds me of the little book stack from Kirkland's, which was like more expensive, but I, I think this was like $8, so it was like really affordable. Okay, $8.99. And then I love this guy. I found him last year. I don't know how much he was. He was cheap though, like $10, I think. I don't know if his light still works. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, his light still works. I'm surprised. The girls used to like light him up every night, so I'm surprised he still works. But... I just love him. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him yet, but I don't know. If I do, like I said, and have themes, he'll probably go near like this other skeleton. Or like if I decide to do like, maybe I could do like Ray Dunn and then like some witchy and skeleton stuff. I don't know. I don't know guys. You'll just have to stay tuned to find out because <laughs> I still don't know. Um, these were from the dollar spot last year. They're just some spooky trees. I got tons of spider web this year. They were a dollar, so I took advantage and grabbed a bunch I think I grabbed like six I grabbed a bunch of the white ones and I also grabbed some black ones um, these little pillows they were from the dollar spot and they were super cheap so that's why I grabbed them uh, one says trick-or-treat and it's got like the buffalo check and then let's snuggle and watch scary movies I'm either gonna put these in the girls rooms or in those little baskets by my couch I got this pillow I think I'm gonna use it in the master bedroom this was $20 I bought this this year originally cuz I <laughs> I'm not big on spiders because I'm like terrified of spiders so I was like I don't know about the spiders they're kind of realistic looking but um, but I, I saw that it was like blank on one side and I was like oh I'm gonna put it out now for fall and then like I can turn it over for Halloween but I ended up not doing that um, I don't know why I just forgot so these little wreaths they look different on camera I think but they're kind of like purple and they've got like the twiggy whatever I think I'm gonna put those up there Lewis says they look just like the ones that are up there and I'm like you don't know what you're talking about these are Halloween and those are obviously not Halloween but anyways uh, I wasn't crazy about the purple flowers but I think they look good like I think though I did switch them out and like see what it looks like and he said they look the same but anyways um, I bought this last year dollar spot these are dollar spot this year these two right here I do have another one from last year I don't know it must be packed away with some other stuff um, I don't have the girls Halloween decor in this haul because it's like in a bin somewhere so I have to find it but anyways I bought these today and they're so cute I just thought I couldn't go wrong with these I could just stick them like anywhere and they're I don't know they're just really cute to me I just love them and then I got these little lanterns. I got one with like bats and witch on it and then one with spiders on it. I had a plan for these. I'm thinking like maybe in the bathrooms because we have two bathrooms. So I was thinking like on the little riser, maybe like one of these and then like a candle and a little pumpkin or something, something simple. Um, these were from the dollar spot last year. It'll focus. Come on. Hang on, it's not focusing. Focus. Okay, there's, I'm not going to show them all, but I'll kind of just like, there's, I was just, they're really cute for like a tear tray. I got them last year. Um, these, I'm either going to use like on a tear tray or just in the bathroom, like I was saying, just something simple. And then I got some black spooky candles, and then I got these like towels or whatever, witches, ghosts, bats, pumpkins, spiders, and black cats. I just thought that was really cute. 
and this is all from Ross. I, I swear, people sleep on Ross. They've got some cute stuff. Um, I always find cute stuff when I go in there. Like, well, okay, so they either have like really tacky stuff or really cute stuff. That's what I've found. Like half of it'll be like, you have to dig for the cute stuff, I think, but all this is super cute to me. The trick or treat sign was last year. I'm trying to think what else is last year. Is that it? I think that's it from last year. Everything else is this year. Um, this is so cute. I think I'm gonna put a candle in it. I don't know if you can see if I can turn it around. Oh, ignore all that mess back there. That's just all the paper that I used to like unwrap the right done. Um, Hocus Pocus. I love all this Hocus Pocus stuff with the new movie coming out. Um, these little dish towels, which the cat has been playing with. I can see like coming apart. They've been in the office like playing with all this stuff, having a ball. This candle holder. Um, I think I'm gonna use this to put my dish pods in. Just switch out that other one. Happy Halloween. I love Ross because their stuff is so affordable. I'm so glad we live. I'm so glad I live in a world where there are Octobers. I love that this sign is black. I've seen a lot of people use this sign and it's like a different color, like a fall color, and they use it for like their fall decor. But I feel like I decorate for Halloween in like September. So like to me, October is Halloween, like straight up Halloween. So I just like, I think it's really cute for Halloween. I'm glad it's black. I love that wooden trick-or-treat sign and then this book with the spooky hands see this will be perfect like I was saying if I did like witches and skeletons on the hutch and then like some Ray Dunn mixed in because witches brew and it's got the skeleton hands I love this and I got this um, the other day it's like sparkly I don't think you can see how, how sparkly stuff is on the camera but oh well and then I got these at the Spring Shop clearance this year at Hobby Lobby. I just thought they were super cute for Halloween. They look like little cauldrons. And so they were originally $5.99, but they were 90% off. So I got them for like 59 cents a piece. So cute. But I don't know, if I end up using the Ray Dunn on the coffee bar, then I may not use these. I guess I'll just like try out both and see, see what looks best. So I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoy this haul, this very long haul that is almost 16 minutes long. <laughs> I think I totally forgot to show these, but these are just some little lights to go on these garlands. I was gonna create like a little garland and put some lights. I got orange, orange, orange. I thought I bought some purple, but I guess I got a little orange. Um, anyways, I think that's it. So yeah, lots and lots, lots, lots of stuff. Definitely overdid it, but it's okay, it's okay. Really quick, I just wanted to show these two because they're so cute. These little long sleeve dresses from Target. This one has little cats on it, little ghosts. And I also have some from last year that have little pumpkins and bats, I think. I think uh, one's like that color with bats on it and one's that color with like white pumpkins on it. And I will give you some advice. Like, if you want cute trick or treat baskets, you have to pick them up like now because <laughs> I bought these at the beginning of the season, like when they first put them out, and I wanted, like, these are deep. I don't know if you can see. Like, they're they're pretty big. Um, I just wanted some really cute ones, because I always wait till too late and end up not getting cute ones. And I, I like to do, like, different stuff for them, and these are, like, the same but different. And they're super cute. And I'm just saying, I got these at TJ Maxx. And if you want cute stuff like this, you have to get it now, because I feel like these are all, like, sold out now. But, um, but if you see them, if you see some cute stuff, you better grab it, because... Stuff like this does not last long. <laughs> I didn't plan this at all, but I'm making meatloaf for dinner and y'all, like, doesn't this look like bloody brains? So this would be like perfect for Halloween supper, like, I haven't made me look in a really long time, but I was thinking it's it's raw right now. I hadn't cooked it yet, but I put the ketchup on it. I was like, oh my God, it looks like bloody brains. Like how perfect would that be for Halloween? I've never thought of that. Oh my gosh. But yeah, this was totally unplanned. So I didn't show the process of making it or anything, but yeah, I'm about to pop this in the oven. I guess I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. I forgot to show before we got into it, but this is what it looked like cooked and cut up. <laughs> got some meatloaf. You like your little pumpkin cookie? Yeah! 
I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and I hope you guys will stick around because I'm going to be having lots of Halloween videos coming very soon and then Christmas of course coming very soon so I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for being here.